The Massachusetts World War II Memorial Committee presented an evening to honor Myra Kraft to the Foxborough Board of Selectmen to honor her unprecedented legacy to help those less fortunate in life. The Massachusetts World War II Memorial Committee cites Myra Kraft for her vision to rewrite the relationship between philanthropists and philanthropy. Myra Kraft's prolific efforts on behalf of charitable organizations stands as a national role model for women throughout America. Chairman Harrington, the Massachusetts National World War II Memorial Commission requests permission to enter. Mr. Dean of the Massachusetts House of Representatives, please enter. Mr. Chairman and the honorable members of the Foxborough Board of Selectmen, as the chairman of the Massachusetts World War II Memorial Committee, I bid you greetings from the committee and also greatly appreciate the valuable time on your calendar so that we can lay aside this evening an evening to honor Mrs. Myrick Hyrett Kraft. I would like now to introduce the honorary chairman of our committee, Captain Tom Hudner who has some brief opening remarks. Captain Hudner. Chairman and the honorable members of the Board of Selectmen, on behalf of the Massachusetts World War II Memorial Committee, I want to thank you for the opportunity this evening to honor a truly great citizen, Mrs. Myra Kraft. It is traditional for our committee to honor those who have made great contributions to preserve our American way of life. Through her charitable work on the home front of Massachusetts, Myra Kraft went far beyond the call of duty in an unprecedented effort to help those less fortunate. It is worthy for all of us to come out of our homes on a cold New England evening to pay our due respects to Mrs. Myra Kraft. Chairman Harrington, I present our proclamation chairman, Sheriff Peter Flynn, former president of the Massachusetts Sheriff's Association. Thank you very much, Mr. Hudner and Mr. Kraft, family members, Mr. Harrington, the members of your board, citizens that are gathered here tonight. It's uh, my privilege to serve as chairman of the proclamation committee. Whereas the Massachusetts National World War II Memorial Committee under its duty prescribed by its chairman emeritus, the Honorable John Joseph Moakley, to promote patriotism in our communities and recognize those who have gone before us who preserved our American way of life. Hence, after a thorough analysis of contributions to our communities, we determine Mrs. Myra Hyatt Kraft, a national role model for American women for her tireless giving through charitable works. Pat Lawton, former chairman of the county commissioners in Plymouth County, what say ye of Myra Kraft? Whereas Myra Hyatt, as her father's daughter, witnessed firsthand during her childhood in Worcester, Mass, one of the greatest examples of philanthropic giving in the history of the Commonwealth by her father, Jacob Hyatt. Walter Parker of Foxborough, what do ye say about Myra Kraft? I'm honored to be here tonight, and I'm having some voice problems, so my niece is going to do the uh, speaking for me on that. Thank you. Whereas Myra Hyatt endured childhood with the knowledge of losing her grandfather and grandmother in Lithuania, along with her great aunts and uncle due to the Nazi Holocaust, thus dedicating her life to a duty to remember the stories of the Holocaust and to teach tolerance in society. Georgia Hudner of Concord, what say ye of Myra Kraft? Whereas Myra Hyatt, raised in the philanthropic legacy of Jacob Hyatt, 
emulated her beloved father, and at age five, visiting the displaced and less fortunate in European camps, recognizing early in life the historical impact of the World War II camps. Roberta Parker of Foxborough, what say ye of Myra Craft? Whereas Myra Hyatt, daughter of one of the early visionary leaders of Brandeis okay. University, journeyed to Israel in 1948 to assist the less fortunate at the dawn of the creation of Israel. Cindy Thorpe of Mansfield, what say ye of Myra Craft? Whereas student Myra Hyatt Craft, author of the play North Atlantic, which gave recognition to our coastal community, that contributed to preserve our freedom in World War II. James Clinton of Mansfield, what say ye of Myra Craft? Whereas the Jerusalem Post records that Myra Hyatt as a child went door to door raising money for the poor children of Palestine into the darkness of night at great concern to her mother, yet returning home with a sack of money for the children of Palestine. Kara Griffin of the Chamber of Commerce what say ye about Myra Kraft? Whereas Myra Hyatt married Robert Kraft in June of 1963, and the union being blessed with four sons, Jonathan, Daniel, Josh, and David Kraft, making great contributions to the community life in Brookline, the local Tritown communities, and throughout the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Bruce Roberts of Foxborough, what say ye of Myra Kraft? Whereas Myra Kraft personally staffed phone banks for fundraising drives, for the less fortunate when they cause needed financial boost. Jack Othelette of Foxborough, the town historian, what say ye of Myra Kraft? Whereas Myra Hyatt Kraft, as a leader of charitable organizations, although a petite and frame, had the courage of a lion in her quest to show by example the importance of reaching out to those in need and to teach tolerance in our society. Pam Goodman of Mansfield, what say ye of Myra Craft? Whereas Myra Hyatt Craft served on the board of Brandeis University for the Boston Foundation and the United Way of Massachusetts Bay, exhibiting a tireless effort to education in those in need. Sandy Clinton of Mansfield, what say ye of Myra Craft? Whereas Myra Hyatt Craft, the board of Brigham and Women's Hospital in the American Repertory, theater, giving tirelessly, tirelessly to medical care and the importance of art and theater to society. Bob Simon, Chairman of the Foxborough Veterans, what say ye of Myra Kraft? Whereas Myra Hyatt Kraft served on the American Jewish Joint Distribution Committee facing history and ourselves, a Holocaust education organization, thus enhancing valuable knowledge of Jewish history. Greg DeSimon of Mansfield, what say ye of Myra Kraft? Whereas Myra hired Kraft as president of the Kraft Family Foundation and the New England Patriots Charitable Foundation, under her leadership, have given in unprecedented fashion to the needs of medical, educational, arts, educational organizations, along with youth sports, Catholic schools, and at-risk children. Jack Sullivan of Plymouth, what say ye of Myra Kraft? Whereas Cardinal Sean O'Malley of Boston declared Myra hired Kraft a strong advocate for serving the less fortunate and a great supporter of Catholic charities, giving dedicated support and commitment to serve others in need. Tim Keneally of Foxborough, what say ye of Myra Kraft? Whereas Michael Durkin, CEO of United Way of Massachusetts Bay, declared, through great vision, Maya Hyatt Kraft insisted that nonprofits be the best and do the best. David Flynn, former dean of the house, from Bridgewater, what say ye of Myra Kraft? Whereas the Boston Globe has declared that Myra Hyatt Kraft has forged a whole new form of engaged giving, and whereas the International Health Tribune declared that Myra Hyatt Kraft has modeled a new form of engaged giving that is transforming the relationship between philanthropists and philanthropy. Kevin Weinfeld of Foxborough, what say ye of Myra Kraft? Whereas the Jewish Community uh, Relations Council has declared that Myra Hyatt Kraft has embodied the Jewish values of tzedakah and social justice through her charitable efforts on behalf of the Jewish community and the people of Greater Boston, further declaring that Myra Hyatt Kraft is a woman of great <coughs> integrity and passion who saw challenges as opportunities, making a difference in the lives of the people she met.
whereas the Massachusetts National World War II Memorial Committee, under the prescribed duty of its Chairman Emeritus, John Joseph Moakley, recognizes Myra Hyatt Kraft for her unprecedented leadership in our Commonwealth, thus hereby declare her a guardian to the Hall of Patriotic Heroes in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Therefore, be it resolved that the Massachusetts National World War II Memorial Committee hereby declares on behalf of the citizens of the state of Massachusetts recognizing Mrs. Myra Hyatt Kraft as a national role model for women for all she has done in her tremendous contributions to assist the less fortunate through her legacy of charitable work. We submit this with great honor to the Foxborough Board of Selectmen on the 24th day of January in this year, 2012. This time I'd like to introduce a, a tireless worker. Uh, he was appointed by Congressman Mulkley as chairman of the World War II <coughs> Memorial Commission here in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. And he has carried out with great dignity and also lots of energy his responsibilities and duties. Ed Sullivan. Thank you for all turning out on a January night that is actually we're blessed with a little balmy weather. It's January and it's cold to come out in Massachusetts. And Myra Kraft is a worthy citizen for us to come together and come out in honor tonight. I just want to open and convey to Mr. Kraft and members of the Kraft family our deep condolences and great appreciation to be joining us. Um, it, I know it's difficult sometimes to endure through a lot of well-intentioned sentiments, but I would like to convey that um, we have our Commander-in-Chief down in Washington who tells all of us that we're going through a rough patch in this time period of our country. And great Americans like Myra Kraft are something fabric in the society that we can hold on to. So in essence, our committee is memorializing the memory of Myra Kraft for our own self-interest so that we as a community can come together and have something to hold on to, a fabric that can help us get through that rough patch and get on to the business of our lives. Us, the survivors, we all have to move on and go and do our duty in life. And as citizens of Massachusetts, every one of us here are members of the Massachusetts World War II Memorial Committee. We are the purveyors of American history. It's our duty to recall those that have gone before us that have made great contributions to society. Because of what we read about Myra Kraft is the fact that she's always given credit to others. We're in a tough period right now. And I contend to all of you that by memorializing Remember Myra Kraft and what she did is an opportunity for all of us to band together and use that fabric to bring ourselves forward into a more productive society because she rewrote the relationship between philanthropy and philanthropists. She was so prolific in giving in charitable works that we may never ever see anybody so prolific in our lives. It would be very difficult for any of us to ever achieve the amount of giving. And when we measured contributions to society, we can clearly say that Mrs. Myra Kraft truly is a national role model for women. Because just that one accomplishment of being the president of the Combined Jewish Philanthropies is a phenomenal accomplishment. And we are very, very thankful, appreciative, and fortunate to have her in the state of Massachusetts. And the example that Myra Kraft gave us is for all of us to come together and help to make our community a better place to be and all of us to be better people. Mr. Chairman, I appreciate the time you've given. And I realize we have a couple of agenda items. And um, I'd like to confer to you on, I believe, from the Secretary that you have an agenda item on a proclamation. Yes. Um, I'd like to thank Mr. Jack Offalette for helping us write a proclamation. I'd like to ask Mr. Sullivan, our clerk, to read that to the community. Thank you, Larry. On behalf of the people of Foxborough, we are proud to join with the Massachusetts National World War II Memorial Committee in honoring the memory of Myra Hyatt. 
craft who, in a quiet, unassuming way, reached out to the countless thousands of indi individuals in need through her participation in and support of a broad range of charitable endeavors through local, regional, national, and international agencies. We are very proud to honor her commitment. She is an inspiration to all of us this evening. From the Foxboro Board of Selectmen, to Robert Craig. veteran committee I didn't know who did such acts of kindness in the town of Foxborough selectmen and and the citizens who are here um, for for this uh, I think Myra would be embarrassed um, and, and I think we've taken up too much of your time I know you have important business um, but her life was about acts of kindness and building bridges and doing the work that, and trying to lead by example. I am, I think one of the things she was most proud about was she was the first woman to lead the Boys and Girls Clubs of Boston that had men running it for 110 years. <laughs> so, uh, she uh, taught me a lot of things and I think she taught uh, the Boys and Girls Club, a lot of things. <laughs> and they uh, take care of 15,000 young people. The same way the two of us have been embraced by the people of Foxborough. We feel very close to the community here. You welcomed us and have been very kind to us. Thank you. Thank you. Captain Tom Hudner, it's very rare we get him down here. Um, and we would like to, first of all, congratulate Mr. Kraft on a phenomenal season by the New England Patriots. We have one of the greatest coaches, I believe, in the history of football. And Bill Belichick, we could all understand, would not be down here. He's preparing, working hard, preparing for a big, big game. But we have an, an award, Captain Hudner, would like to present to you, to, uh, and at the appropriate time, would ask you, Mr. Kraft, to get this to Coach Belichick. And this is a relic, a 1953 cleats from a special teams player <laughs> down in, in uh, Annapolis. And the award is named after Captain George Street, who me and Captain Hudner served on the executive committee of the World War II committee. And it's, it's called the Thundering Hooves of Annapolis. And the significance of Tom, if you could come with Mr. Kraft, the significance of this trophy is that um, Mr. Belichick and Tom Hudner were Phillips Academy alumni, and they were also U.S. Naval Academy. The, co the coach's father was coached down there. And um, we named it after Captain Street because our duty is to keep these heroes' names in the public eye. And... Uh, would like Captain Hunter presents this to you, Mr. Kraft, to give to Mr. Coach Belichick at the proper time. <laughs> I hope these thundering hoofs uh, in Annapolis uh, are there two weeks from now. <laughs> his office and I will see this see him tomorrow and present it to him and I know his dad coached there and he feels very a great fondness. I I thank I thank you group for all the kindness and thank you, Mr. The Massachusetts National World War II Memorial Committee 
recognizes Myra Kraft for her significant contributions to help those less fortunate on the home front in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts.